Hello and welcome to another Comfy UI tutorial. Today we'll be looking at noise injection and how it impacts our basic images. Uh, it's basically a method that I first saw from a German YouTuber called A Latent Place. My German is very bad, but I think I got the idea and I managed to replicate it myself. Of course, we gave it a little twist. We tried some new parameters because that's what we do and try to improve on the method that was presented by a later place. So definitely check out his video, especially if you understand any German. Uh, it is subtitled though, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't really watch the whole thing. So, however, I gave it here my own twist. So first of all, we have our basic uh, workflow to just be able to compare. So this is the normal output using Freeview, of course and my preferred settings that we saw last time. If you don't know, uh, I would say check out the previous video and start from there. And then we will basically iterate. Let's run it in meantime. Uh, so randomize this, right, run it. And then what we basically do is the same workflow, but we want to add noise to it halfway the generation. So this is what you see here. We have our basic case sampler. We decode our image, right? Because we want I wanted to show you guys uh, what is going on. So we see at the eighth step, we stop the generation. And then we get this little image right here. And what we'll be doing is using this node to add noise on, on top of our generation. Uh, in order to hopefully increase the, the level of detail or at least uh, slightly manipulate our image. I mean, I like to have several choices uh, and try out new things. So I think this is a very good exercise, although I'm not 100% convinced it really improves the images. However, up to you to decide. I'm just here to show you guys how it works. Okay, so we have our initial eight step image and step at eight um, and we have our noise to add here you can mess around with the number of colors i like to use 16 or 32 and a gaussian mix of 20 seems for me to really give a little bit of punch to the image if that make it, makes any sense um and then afterwards what we want to do is basically blend these two together and uh, and further generate our image. So we use the latent blend mode uh, node, and we add our, we connect our latent image from our case sampler here as the first image, and our second image will be this particular noise, right? Our blend factor will determine how much impact one uh, specific image has over the other. Me, myself, I found that a blend factor of 65 worked out really good for me and for this particular model. Um, however, feel free to mess around with that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, how you do noise injection. Uh, so what we can also do is add more layers of noise or maybe different noise to the workflow. And, and this is what we did here. And uh, I will show you guys how, how to build this as well. What is different from this workflow and how it impacts the image. We'll see this in a minute. So basically we do the same thing over again. We stop the case sampler at the eighth step. We gather our image, right? We add our image to noise. So we convert basically this image to noise in order to keep um the, the the same the, the same noise uh, that corresponds to this image but then on top of that i added some additional noise i mean you yourself feel free to experiment if you type in noise here you see power noise berlin noise image to noise and multiple types of noise that you can use I experimented a little bit with this one. Make sure to change your resolution as you do. The density also impacts uh, quite a bit. The modulator, uh, I tried it, it wasn't very successful. 
However, as we continue, we basically do the same thing as we did prior, but we do it twice. So we have two latent blends uh, nodes. One contains this particular image and our first noise, and then we'll feed that latent image as our uh, third sample of the image, and our fourth will be the new noise, right? So we want to balance these out correctly. I found that keeping the 0.65 as we did previously, but then uh, giving this latent image way more impact than this noise uh, turned out to give me quite good results. Hey guys, it's me from the future. I quickly came back to show you guys the results because my computer crashed. So here is the normal result. Here is with basic noise injection. So the first one and then with additional noise on top of it. What's good is that it has hair clips because also in our prompt we specified hair clip and it's the only one where we see hair clips. So this is nice. It worked uh, at least in my opinion. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Feel free to change the parameters. However, this was the video. Cheers. I'm out.